Back now on EA Sports at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara. It's Raider football as we get back into the action in the first quarter. with a play fake to Jacobs. Man open left side is Brown. And that's good. Going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 43. First nine seasons in the league for Brown were, of course, in Pittsburgh. Last year, though, growing concerns of his dissatisfaction and his role with the Steelers and the quibbles with Ben Roethlisberger. So he ends up being traded to the Raiders in March. Seven-time Pro Bowler, six straight years of at least 1,200 yards and eight touchdowns. Not a bad stretch. What a and oh, his first carry, he loses the football. And the Falcons say they have it, they do. Well, he's not the starter coming in, getting his first carry off the bench. That's not the way to earn more carries. You have to stay in the game, even if you're not on the field, right? Stay mentally sharp, stay ready. And above all, when you get into the game, hold on to the football. Don't let the other team have it. Well, before Atlanta starts this drive on offense, let's look at what the upcoming season might hold for them. 7-9 last year. Now, offensively, they still have a lot of weapons. Defensively, can they make an uptick in 2019? They certainly have to, and you're right about Our ball, baby! Our ball! It's ours! After reviewing the play, the line on the field is reversed. Now, move on. Defense, let's go. Pick it up, D. Don't jump. That's it. So after the fumble recovery, it's Carr. That's going to be caught at the 10 yard line. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. 3 0 after one on EA Sports. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Here's Carr to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Kamal Ishmael. Well, Charles, while we have a moment, you know what we need to do here is give a nod to the new Hall of Famers who were brought in by Canton and inducted on August the 3rd. Champ Bailey, Pat Boland, Gil Brandt, Tony Gonzalez, Ty Law, Kevin Mawai, Ed Reed, and Johnny Robinson, all part of the class. Fantastic class. When you talk about guys who played at a top level, obviously they're Hall of Famers. But what I found interesting about it is you've got a great pass catcher, the best pass catching tight end in history in Tony Gonzalez. How would he like to work against his secondary? Shane Bailey and Ty Law at corner, Ed Reed and Johnny Robinson at safety. Good luck trying to get open against those four. What a matchup that would have been, but it was a terrific night for those gentlemen. Congratulations. And of course, Ed Reed's bust will go down in history because they had the hair exactly right 
and Ed had a ball up there in his Hall of Fame speech. And remember, next year, they're going to celebrate the centennial year of the NFL with a special class of 20, so get ready for those speeches. I wonder if they'll do it like Johnny Robinson this year, who actually submitted a video instead of going up to the podium, and his speech was about five minutes long, which is probably about the right length. Ryan in the offense with a first and ten. And he's a perfect six for six here to start the ball game. Ryan on the handoff. It's Freeman. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. And Falcons fans everywhere excited that Devontae Freeman is back on the field wearing number 24 in the red and black. Remember, he went down in week two in 2018 with an injury and didn't return. They're hoping to see the form that led him to 1,000-yard seasons in 2015 and 2016. From the 44, Ryan. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 35. Calvin Ridley more than justified his first-round selection in 2018. 64 catches as a rookie and found the end zone 10 times. Did a nice job getting open right there and picking up a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the shotgun, Ryan. And down he goes, brought down a Raiders sack. Maurice Hurst coming right up the gut, gets in there for a loss of nine. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Now Ryan going to give it to Freeman. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Third and long. It's Ryan. Gets it off to free. EA Sports, it's in the game.
everybody, it's the coach. Ah, Coach, it is still summer in the Midwest and a pleasant summer day as we are set for football at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs. This will be fielded at the 8. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Lamar Jackson set to go here with the Ravens in season number two. And all the running he did, especially after taking over for Joe Flacco last year, late in the season, Charles, now people are wondering, can he keep that up? They were saying that maybe they're going to dial that down. But head coach John Harbaugh, he's hinted that running the ball with Jackson is going to be a major part of this offense. How do you see this playing out? Well, two examples come to mind. You remember Cam Newton a couple years ago? His head coach, Ron Rivera, said they would dial things down. And what did Cam say? Yeah, but a lion's got a roar. It also reminds me of when Michael Vick first hit the league, that he was trying to become a better pocket passer. And oftentimes his head coach would say, yeah, but if it's open, just go, Michael, just go. So it'll be a line, right? It'll be a delicate balance of what they try and figure out and how they're going to do it with Lamar Jackson. But bottom line is you can't let those legs go. Those legs can be valuable for the Ravens. Baltimore was the most run-heavy team in the league last year after Lamar Jackson took over as a starter. And you think about Mark Ingram. He goes from a situation where he was sharing time with Kamara in New Orleans. Now he figures to be the top guy in the Baltimore backfield. Although I guess you could say he's kind of splitting time with his quarterback, Lamar Jackson. But a great veteran presence Mark Ingram is behind Jackson. Ingram now in his ninth NFL season. Ingram again, a first down carry. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Now on second and 13, Jackson, and his throw is incomplete. Trying to get it to Willie Sneed there. And that takes us from second to third down. And a very good offensive unit here. One of the reasons they're so good is running back Mark Ingram. Took a little while for him to find his footing when he got into the league, but the former Heisman Trophy winner has it now and has really upped his pass receiving potential. A nice player. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll fake the give to Ingram. Now Jackson. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. How about this for an opening drive decision? You got fourth and short just outside of field goal range in all likelihood. What do you do? I'm going for it. I've got to go get it right now. I want to establish a tone. It's early in the game. I want to let my offense know that I believe in them. And you know something else? I let my defense know I believe in them also by taking that gamble. If we don't get it, it's okay. You guys will cover for me. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. Yellow. There's a water, right? Let's go. Caught out left side by Robinson. And he will lose yardage here anywhere, back to man. his own what six. It's a loss of a yard me. there, and it's second down. They threw the screen to the perimeter, but to no benefit at all. Tackled behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of yardage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Wizard! 
Mahomes going to pull it out and keep it himself. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And this one will be taken up. They'll spot it right at the seven. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Check, check, check 41. You better be afraid of me. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And this is going to be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. Jones on the return. So just a three-yard return following Let's a go, punt baby. of 45. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10. They'll run with Ingram here to begin the drive. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. Call it a gain of four on first and that'll make it second down. And a glance now at the Chiefs defense. When your defense ranks 31st against the pass, you have to make moves in order to make it better. And the Chiefs did exactly that in bringing in safety Tyron Matthew, who has great instincts and the ability to play both safety and nickel corner. I love the way he roams around the secondary and brings a great attitude and edge to the locker room. I'm coming after you. Now this throw caught left side. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 15 yards on the play, first down. Nice throw there by Jackson. You think about what a boost he gave Baltimore the middle of last year, led them to victories in six of their last seven games as a starter, replacing Joe Flacco, who had the hip issue. And that strong finish was good enough for the Ravens to capture their first AFC North crown since 2012. And now Jackson's a known commodity. He's the unquestioned starter, and with increased expectations and pressure on the former Heisman Trophy winner. This is Ingram on first and 10. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Ready, Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. I'm going to come back to you. Jackson. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't they? Yeah, when they? we talked about him, they did. Yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time. Really honing. 